Ladies and gentlemen, this is for Gaming Telecom Video. We're going to be just discussing everything in video. We're going to talk about the GTX 1060 because some Fire Strike um, results have been leaked onto the internet. And we're also going to be talking about the new Pascal Titan. In fact, we're going to be starting out with the Titan first because honestly, it's so damn impressive I just need to get it off my chest. So of course the Titan represents the highest end of the GPUs that NVIDIA provide for regular retail customers. And according to VR World, they've managed to get hold of an early sample of this card. Now what's rather interesting is they've reported that the display configuration is very similar to the 1080, but does not have a DVI connector, maybe that could change for later revisions of the board. But it's going to be available in two configurations. We'll get to the main differences in a second but they are essentially going to differentiate themselves with power uh, requirements with an 8 plus 8 or an 8 plus 6 configuration which means you're looking at a highest end of 300 watts TDP which isn't terrible but the PCB is also pretty darn long it's basically 12 inches now what is the difference between these two boards? Well, one is GP100, one is GP102. Unfortunately, we don't know the differences in terms of the number of CUDA cores or other such things such as ROPs, but there is going to be a difference in memory. 12 versus 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, which is clocked higher than the Tesla family. All of that's rather interesting, but the thing that's staggering, startling, and damn right surprising, yeah, I know I just said three things, which basically mean the same thing, is they are targeting NVIDIA a performance level 50%, at least, I repeat that, at least 50% higher than the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. And in fact, resources are reporting that the card is so fast they're being bound by a lot of CPUs. Essentially, if you're running something like an i7-6950X, because of the lower clock speed but the higher number of cores, you're just not able to feed enough data to the GPU and it becomes, well, limited. So, sources are actually reporting that a joke inside of NVIDIA's own headquarters is don't buy the 6950X just buy a 6700K and a Titan. Now, I'm pretty sure that NVIDIA are not going to be using this on the PR slash marketing material, because they may not want to piss off Intel that much. But it's actually kind of funny, because ironically, because of Intel's insane policies with their parts when it comes to the number of cores available and the clock speed of the higher end cores, for example, with the with the Broadwell E's, it's actually might be that Intel are going to lose customers to Zen. So it could actually be, assuming Zen is a high-end part and actually is really uh, pretty decent, it could be that folks who buy the Titans may, if they want a lot of cores and don't want to starve their um, Titans for processing performance, they might actually say, hey, I'm going to be pairing the Zen. So NVIDIA actually might be creating some Zen customers, which I guess works out rather nicely for AMD and NVIDIA. It is what it is. Uh, you can't make stuff like this up. Anyway, um, NVIDIA should be unveiling the GTX Titan P at Gamescon which is going to be taking place between the 17th and the 21st of August, which is obviously 2016. So theoretically, we shouldn't have to wait too long before we start seeing what really the card can do. Now let's mosey on over to the world of the GTX 1060. So as you're aware, the 1060 is going to be slightly more expensive than the RX 480, but NVIDIA are telling us that it's going to be between 10 to 15%. In fact, they're saying 15% faster well, some 3D Mark scores have actually started to leak online. More specifically, more accurately, Firestrike scores, which are 11,225, 11, and for Ultra, 3,014. And these come to us from xfastest.com, which is a forum. You'll notice as well that the GPU-Z screenshot tells us all we need to know. 1,500 megahertz default clock and boosts up to 1709 which is 
a very fairly arbitrary number, but still, and the memory runs at 2002. Now, you might say to yourself, well, that's a little higher than the RX 480, and you'd be right, but it's only around 8-10% faster. It's also worth noting from what I remember of Firestrike that NVIDIA do have a slight advantage with Firestrike compared to AMD, but that might be slightly changed now that we've got Polaris. We're going to need, well, more performance data from both cards once, of course, we actually have GTX 1060s running around in the wild. What does all of that mean? Well, it's going to be quite interesting because if NVIDIA are going to, and obviously we're only going rumored pricing here, going to be charging up to 300 US dollars for the GTX 1060, and the rumors are it does not have an SLI finger for the 6 gigabyte model or the 3 gigabyte model, but there is some confusion on that. It's going to be really interesting because you're going to ask folks to basically cough up between, let's say, 30 to 70 US dollars more, depending on the revision of the card. But you're only going to be getting performance that's around 8% to 10% more. Now, I guess that's when you can start arguing overclocking. We do know that Pascal overclocks like absolute demons. Because, obviously, you've all seen the reports of 2 GHz plus on the GTX 1080. Not really too much of a big deal. Some are breaking 2.2. Once again, not too much of a big deal. If we see similar with the 1060, that's great. But, obviously, it depends on power consumption and all of that jazz. And we're also going to need to start seeing comparisons between the RX 480, the, well, third-party cooler versions... Basically, I would not buy a damn thing. I would not put a pre-order down on the GTX 1060, and I probably would even hold off on the RX 480 until we not until we know more. I say that, but if you're on a fair budget and you've only got 230 US dollars and you can't justify spending 300 US dollars, and I damn sure wouldn't be getting a three gigabyte version of the 1060, then the RX 480 makes a hell of a lot of sense and. I guess it also depends on your perspective, like, let's say the RX 480 is 5-10% to 10 slower, is that worth, let's say, $70 to you? Well, it depends. Six months from now, if the GTX 1060 does not offer um, SLI, well, the RX 480 does offer Crossfire, so you could put two together, so it becomes very swings and roundabouts, see? But anyway, we can only go with the information we have at this particular moment. Speaking of information we only have at this particular moment, the CPU review that I've been working on is up. I'm going to be working on the RX 480 reviews over the next couple of days. Um, and I wanted to actually wait on that a little bit because AMD released a new driver, which I wanted to take into account the old and the new driver and see what the performance is. And then I have another graphics card review, which hopefully should be either the 1070 or the 1060. It depends on review sampling. And I also have a keyboard and a headset waiting as well. So I'm trying to juggle everything at the moment and possibly some other bits and pieces. So essentially, if you're looking for hardware reviews, if you're looking for news, if you're looking for technology, then feel free to click the subscribe button. It's down there and share the video and all of that stuff. Um, oh, and if you're looking for more technical analysis stuff we have the scorpio video out this moment but i am working on a couple of ideas from some other stuff as well so if that's more your thing rather than reviews i am working on stuff in the background but i'm gonna get going um hopefully you've enjoyed the video do the normal like subscribe slash you know leave a comment uh you can find us on the regular social media channels which are linked in the z i don't know why i'm pointing down it's like there's no camera on me but if you click down on the video description, you can find all of the relevant uh, social media channels. But with that said, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.